Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back on the Uncle Sharma channel. Here we are back with a scout report and this one has been in demand. We've been having people DMing me, messaging me about this one. When are you doing the Aslani? When are you doing Aslani? Here we are, Christian Aslani, scout report for my stupids and of course Interistas. And as always, these scout reports might actually end up being useful for fans of other teams, but it doesn't matter. Here we are. And before we get cracking, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe. So, Christian Aslani, who is he? He's a 20-year-old Albanian midfielder with an Italian passport, plays for Empoli, and he moved to Italy when he was two years of age, settling in Buti, province of Pisa, and he decided to actually represent the national team of the country where he was born um, rather than Italy. And he's a player that, you know, if you follow Italian football and especially Primavera level football, youth team football, he's a player that's been spoken about for, for a little while because he was one of the standout players in the Empoli youth team that won the Primavera Championship in the 2021 season. Um, and he, Aslani, scored seven goals and three assists in that season being uh, you know one of the uh, most uh, promising players of that team and you know it was just a matter of time before he was promoted to the first team which is what happened this season he is 1.75 meters tall or five foot seven and this past season in Serie A he registered 23 appearances one goal and one assist which doesn't sound too impressive but we have to take into account that actually he only became a starter after Samuel Ricci left Empoli who was the you know the owner of that center defensive midfield position in Empoli's 4-3-1-2 formation and actually Aslani's first ever start for Empoli was in the match day 24 against Bologna so you know pretty much he's only played half a season really at a uh, Serie A level and as I said he was the successor of Samuele Ricci who was sold to Torino in the January transfer window for around 10 million euros the first time I took notice of him uh, Aslani there's going to be a lot of uh, personal anecdotes in this scout report because it's actually a player I've been following very closely and especially if you follow me on Twitter you must have been seeing my tweets about Aslani for a few months because I've been a big fan of this player but the first time I took notice of him was against Inter as often <laughs> happens with players that you know you end up following the impress against your team and uh, he wasn't you know that good against the Inter in the Coppa Italia match with that match where um, Empoli took Inter to extra time but in that match he played in an attacking role an attacking midfielder role and he registered an assist for Bayrami for one of the Empoli goals but actually the match where I really kind of uh, took notice of him and you know started to fall in love with him as a player was in March against Milan um, Empoli actually lost that match 1-0 but Aslani stood out to me in that match for the way he played. In that match, he registered 62 passes, which was the most in the match after Ben Asser, and uh, completed a full 90 minutes. And in that match, he showed all his uh, repertoire, you know, everything that I like about him, which is passing ability, technical ability, vision, seeing space, being in the right place at the right time, and always making himself available for the ball, always calling for the ball, always ready to receive with the right body positioning. And Andrea Zoli also uh, spoke in glowing terms about him. And Andrea Zoli, uh, you know, he's a guy who has got a track record of bringing through, you know, talented young players, especially at Empoli, not just this season and past seasons as well, with the likes of Ben Asser, uh, Empoli, Junior Traore. Uh, so this guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to young players and he has the Andrea Zoli stamp of approval. His primary position is centre defensive midfielder or as we call it in Italy, a regista, the playmaker, the deep line playmaker. But there has been two or three times where he's played in slightly more advanced role as a mezzala or even as an attacking midfielder. And we saw that again against Inter in the league um, when he scored against us he was playing as an attacking midfielder in the 4-3-1-2 so uh, primarily defensive mid but also able to be adapted to other positions in midfield as most modern players need to be you know they have to be adaptable in the modern game so in terms of the links to Inter in theory in theory he is going to come in as the vice Brozovic if he comes in and in my opinion he is the vice Brozovic that Inter have been needing for the last few years. Making a direct comparison to Brozovic, which is obviously hard to do, Brozovic's level is, you know, crazy high. But looking at the heat maps of the two, you can see similarities in the heat maps in terms of area covered, hot spots. 
but obviously Brozovic is absolutely crazy in terms of the Brozovic's heat map looks like it's two players in one uh, the amount of uh, area that he covers but you can also see uh, Aslani covers area quite well when it comes to touches per game this is where we see the difference really Aslani averages around 41 touches per game and Brozovic averages a monstrous 86 touches per game but obviously you have to take into account the team that the two are playing for Empoli and Inter you know the Inter dominating possession mostly against uh, every single team they play against and Brozovic is the source of Inter's play. One attribute where it's definitely very encouraging that he can do the job as a vice Brozovic is Aslani's engine. His uh, stamina clearly is up there with the best in the league. As you can see, he ranks in the top 10 in Serie A in terms of average kilometers covered. He averages uh, just over 11 kilometers per game. And you can see he is in good company just above Barella and you know below Brozovic. But good signs that he is able to cover a lot of ground because we know as Brozovic has shown to us that in this inter midfield you need to be able to cover a lot of ground not just in terms of making up and uh, covering for his uh, teammates but also to be available in possession and being uh, be able to receive the ball in many different positions and move around all over the pitch when we look at his fb ref statistics nothing really stands out uh, nothing too impressive to be honest especially you know when you look at his passing numbers his passes completed around 41 attempted 49 82 percent pass completion um he stands out more when we look at the passes completed long uh, you can see he's right he ranks in the 80th percentile but i think this tells us more about empoli's style of play where they do play a lot of long balls into the channels into pinamonti and the other strikers to to um to run the stats where he ranks best are missed controls which shows that he has got good solid fundamentals which is you know what i like about him he's a technical player 0 0.33 missed controls is in a really high uh, percentile so it means that he barely gets a touch wrong um, and then he also ranks well in some defensive actions like passes, shots blocked, touches in the defensive area. So it shows that he's not afraid to get stuck in. And he's got a decent reading of the game for a player of his age. Um, he's got good numbers in terms of interceptions as well. Going forward, he shows some potential as well. Um, like obviously he only has the one goal and one assist this season. But the one assist that he had uh, was after a nice run in the perfectly weighted ball. And the one goal, as we mentioned earlier, against Inter great running behind the defense great great first touch bringing the ball down from in the air with his left and then finishing off with his right foot underneath uh in between Samir Andanovic's leg showing you know good instinct for goal scoring as well and his time in the youth teams we said seven goals when he was at, in the Empoli's youth team shows that there is some potential there um, as a goal scoring midfielder too and I think like many other young midfielders that are coming up in modern football we shouldn't try to pigeonhole them too much in one specific role as we've seen you know with Camavinga, Chouameni, Locatelli you know they can play Mezzala defensive mid you know they they can they can chop and change but with Aslani in my personal opinion you can see that if he does specialize in the defensive mid role I think that's where I see him achieving his true potential long term. Transfer Mart, um values him around nine million pounds, which I believe is kind of around about the accurate price for a player who's only uh, broken into the team this season. Has only really had you know five or six months really being a starter of uh, Empoli, and even for his national team Albania, he's only recently broke into the team. He's got four caps for them now. So I think if Inter are able to secure him for around ten million euros, around about that price that is the right price and i think that would be a very smart signing ac milan a uh, rumor to be sniffing around as well which shows you know they're scouting if they're like someone like aslani there's there's something good there there's obviously lots of room of the, for development in when it comes to uh, aslani uh, the boy is still young only 20 years old and physically he needs to develop for sure and obviously that defensive mid position in general is a very sensitive position on the pitch one probably one of the most difficult to play in terms of being positionally aware of the ball and reading of the game but Aslani already shows uh, that he's at a high level when it comes to that but I think if Inter do sign a player like Christian it has to be you know Inzaghi needs to commit to playing this guy and giving him you know a good amount of minutes and rest Brozovic and or give Aslani some minutes in the other midfield positions as well because otherwise there's just no point signing a player like this and having him sit on the bench and rot on the bench and not get to the next level which I'm sure I'm convinced this guy can get to and become 
uh, maybe not a starter at Inter for one or two years yet, but having that you know potential to do it uh, in the future. So overall, as you guys already know, I am a big fan of the player. I hope Inter get to sign this guy. But I want to know your opinion on the player. What do you make of him? Do you like him? Do you think he's really a defensive mid? Or do you see him shining more in other roles? What do you make of the price tag? Nine, ten million, or is it is it more? Should be less, or no? Just you don't want him at Inter. Let me know in the comments below. Hope Inter wrap this signing up. Let's see what happens in the transfer window. I have faith in Marotta and Rosilio to wrap this up. Make sure to keep an eye on the channel, of course, for other scout reports, for other players that we may sign in this transfer window and that we may be interested in the future. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one. Ciao ragazzi, Porta Inter.